I thought I'd just do a short video on ways to make a CNC enclosure more compact for a small workshop. Um, I've done a couple of videos on this access enclosure, but what this video is about is ways of making it smaller sideways and possibly front to back. And one idea is to have a little flap on the side that opens up when you're doing extreme travel. But it's based on the premise that usually you're only using the, the central few inches of travel on the X and Y and to have an enclosure the full capacity of the extreme travels means a much bigger enclosure than you need for, for general use. I'm going to build a, a smaller enclosure for this original Tormac 1100 bought in 2007 and I'm um, looking for ways to make it more compact and use up less workshop space partly just for the fun of the challenge. So let's close this down now and run a little cycle with coolant. I've got the uh, control cabinet um, protective hatch on as well. So just put the coolant on, run the spindle, spraying it straight on the chuck to make maximum spray out. So you can see now spraying over the inside of the enclosure. So I'll run a little cycle. Oh, I have to do a program reset. Okay. The spindle on, put the coolant on, run a little cycle. Just see, show you how it works. So that side flap lifts, lifts up to allow the extreme travel. It's right out to the max. Drops back in out the way. I didn't see any coolant come out during that time, but in theory you could get a couple of drops coming down. I'll just run that again from the inside. Program reset, spin the long, pull and pong. Okay, let's try on that. The inside. If I use a few features like that on this new design, I could have a much smaller enclosure and yet still have full protection.